Welcome to a Starter and a Chaser podcast with your hosts, Joe Clark and John Passo. My water bottle is made of thin plastic. Hmm. All my other water bottles are concerned because they think he's not eating enough. Well, that could be... Oh, hi. Welcome to another episode of a Starter and a Chaser podcast. I am John Passo. I'm Joe Clark. Joe and our viewers, we have something cool today from Arizona that was donated by our loyal viewer on Instagram, Sarah and Jeff. We have Whiskey Bellback from Hamilton Distillers in Tucson, Arizona. I've never had an Arizona whiskey, to be honest with you. No, so we've, had, cool. we've had Texas and Utah, Kentucky, Colorado, Colorado, Ohio, California, California, pretty much every state, but no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Hawaii, Hawaii yeah. and Alaska. Are there whiskeys made there? Let us know in the comments below. But this one in particular, uh, Hamilton Distillers was started back in 2011 by Stephen Paul and his daughter, Amanda, and all of their whiskeys are American single malt, which is something that we're we're doing a lot more reviews on uh, on the podcast. There seems to be a lot of craft distilleries that are using single malt products now, um, kind of compete with the Scottish scotch. kind of thing and yeah. scotch things. But, um, we're finding though a lot of times it's not like scotch. You can tell they're a single malt style there's like drink, but influence it's, of scotch, but not there's influence. Right, actually they're more scotch. American whiskey bourbon esque. Now, yeah. this one took a page out of Scotland's book, though, because unlike Scotland, which uses peat to smoke yeah. their malts, they used mesquite. mesquite. Mesquite, now, for those that don't smoke, and I, I'm a big smoked meats fan, yeah. mesquite will give you a very distinctive, bold flavor, but it's also a sweeter smoke than, like, say, hickory. So I'm curious if you're going to pick up barbecue on the nose. Um so it is kind of like a grilled char nose to it, like your um, what your grill smells like after you've been cooking or smoking meats. Mm. Um, it is definitely, it, it, there's a lot of smoke on the nose, I can tell you that. Okay. It is very tobacco-y also. Hmm. You can you can pick that up. This would probably like be a cigar just, or yeah yeah. Cigarette like, no no or... actually no I shouldn't say that. I I would say personally it would be more of a heavy pipe tobacco. Oh okay so, so kind of like a sweeter yeah sweeter I bet this tobacco. would be a nice drink just from what I'm getting on the nose to smoke with. Ooh. Like smoke yeah, not, yeah, not smoke not me. Smoke. Well, yeah actually, it took me a second. <laughs> it's like well. Oh, no, whiskey well, while you're actually, smoking, yeah, meat, yeah. meat and smoking a cigar or a pipe or whatever can work. Meat's very hard to stay lit when you smoke it, though, <laughs> I've noticed. Right, yeah. <laughs> so, um, by the way, the one that we are reviewing is their Dorado, which is 90 proof. Once again, single malt like all of theirs. They actually have four other products. Their Classic Distiller's Cut is another one, and uh, or Classic, comma, Distiller's Cut, comma, Old Play Blow, which is their fourth, and I think Old Play Blow is their um, unaged White okay. Lightning. For ninety proof, it's got it's got some heat on it though. Mm, it's it's not a spice. It's definitely ethanol. Well, you know, Arizona is a hot hot desert environment. Maybe that's translating into the uh, spirit. Sure, sure. I'm curious what this tastes like though. Let's do it. Prost. Hmm. Hmm. Wood. Before, it was like as I'm tilting the glass in to my mouth to take my sip here, that mesquite was like rushing in, dude, before it even hit my well. tongue. It, you can <laughs> taste it before it hit your tongue. That is mesquite. I That's mean, all I get. Charred, smoky mesquite. I'm getting a lot going on here. Actually. I need to go in for another. Let's another do it sip, again. So, yeah. Wow. Candy. There's a candy note to this. It's not, well, a little bit of toffee, but there's like this hard candy with bar thick barbecue sauce and mm. smoke and wood. There is a, a definite barrel characteristic <laughs> to this that's vanilla and... Just a um, bit. What are you what are you getting? Because I'm I'm getting a ton of stuff going on. I'm trying to sort through them. 
there's a lot going on here. It is definitely mesquite. It's tobacco-y. Um, it is leathery. Pipe tobacco, It for is sure, yeah. very earthy, grainy. Lots of barrel going on here. <coughs> I mean, it's building as I'm going to. Um, it's got some spicy notes to it for me, but it's got some floral notes, too. Oh, you know, in the background, honey, oh. like like a light honey. I'm picking up almost. light vanilla, definitely candy, you know, sugars mm -hmm. and stuff like that. It's like um, not just a regular brown sugar, but almost like a brittle for me. Okay, like a, a, a caramel peanut brittle kind mm -hmm. of thing going on with this one because I do get some peanut notes with this. And you know, you got the pipe tobacco on the oh. nose, and you said tobacco for the palate. I'm getting pipe tobacco for the palate. I mean, it's, it's, it is <laughs> yeah, very it's, distinct. It's fair. Like I mean, you were smoking is... a pipe for sure. It, 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 when I'm saying the smoke notes on this are, it's almost like having a blend of smoke coming at like you were, yeah, it's like, like you have blends of different whiskeys, and, they're blending yeah, smoke. smoke. Yeah, you get barbecue, <laughs> you get pipe tobacco, you yeah. get cigar. I don't get cigarette. No, but, um, thank God. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I would say if you are a scotch drinker and you're watching this episode and you're an Isla fan, this going over into American whiskeys would be a heavy competitor for something like that. This is really fascinating for me because I am a huge Isla fan. And we've done a bunch of Isla episodes on the podcast and, you know, Brooke Lottie, we just did Octomore the other day, find the link for that up here. <clears throat> um, this is very scotch-like in the smoke component, but it is like this whole new spin on what you would think of at, for smoked malts with that hickory. It's unlike I anything mean, I've ever had. It's it's absolutely unique. It plumes. The more you, I drink it, the more on the nose, just like sitting here, it just it's pluming into my face with smoke. And, and it's just building and building and billow. It feels like it's billowing out my mouth as I yeah, sit here. Yeah. Yeah. You feel <laughs> it. Is, like this you is, feel it coming out. This is crazy, man. It is crazy. <laughs> I want to try more of their stuff. I couldn't tell what the difference between all the the different products that they have, except for the old Pueblo being the, the unaged spirit. So I, I want to know what else they're doing. This I have this cool. like aftertaste of grilled meat <laughs> like barbecued meat kind of really. you know it's, kind of like uh you know the bark on a, a nicely smoked brisket or something like that i'm getting on this man i look like this richard douglas richard douglas mm. would love this because he's a big grill guy and smoker guy this would pair well with your grill i've got <laughs> i've got uh an uncle in queen creek arizona and and a couple of his kids are in tucson Uncle Kurt, Carissa, and all the rest of the gang. Have you been here? Have you had this product? Leave me a comment below, because I want to know. Joe, what are your final thoughts on Whiskey Del Block Dorado? This might be one of the most unique whiskeys that I've had to date. There is nothing else like this that I've had yet. That, that it, and we've had a lot of whiskeys together. And yeah, we have. Together, and this is unique. <laughs> It's really good. Being an Isla fan myself, this to me is like so far the American Isla for me. It's that good. It's I can really I can good. see that. Yeah. Absolutely. I like I it. I think it's cool. That. I think it's really cool. Yeah. <clears throat> I think it's awesome. Yeah. I mean, this is this is a really cool but left of center product. So if you're like used to, you know, the straight and narrow, you don't want your bourbons being like really crazy or your whiskey's being really crazy this is not going to be the product for you because this is this is crazy it's out there <laughs> it's out there but it's out there in all the right ways i feel i mean it's got a lot of complexity to it mm -hmm. you can tell it's it's well crafted it's got good ingredients um I, i'm i'm a huge fan so uh that's Hef what's cool about craft whiskey man yeah there's so many variations anymore so many variations yeah. and uh el jefe and sarah bear thank you so much thank you. for sending us this, this, great. this yeah. bottle it's, Appreciate it. it's really cool absolutely yeah and uh if you want to send us a bottle of your favorite whiskey let us know uh shoot us a comment in the comments below hit subscribe uh and if you could follow us on instagram you could probably see Jeff and Sarah commenting on that at a Starter and a Chaser podcast. Um, I'm a little concerned. I think we need to grab my water bottle sandwich.
Can we go do that? Yeah, let's do it. What do you think it likes? I don't know. 